the right. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Yashim, Yahweh Shai by Yashim, Rakahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And peace and salutation unto the hopeful elect and the one third of Yasha Allah upholding the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shai to the best of their ability. Peace and salutations. This is the brother Bokwasha. And essentially, I just want to cover a couple of precepts. Uh, as we wrapped up camp last night, uh, beautiful camp, you know, the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai is working with, you know, all the brothers that are, you know, preaching this gospel, you know, in, in sincerity. And, you know, this anointing, this covering that Yahweh by Shemiah Shai has given us, he hasn't given to all people. You know, Lord willing, we are those men, you know, because we're following in that, that stead, you know, we're we're upholding you know this light you know this this good news this gospel you know that the salvation of israel is unto the hopeful elect you know on this side and then ultimately you know all of israel will uh be regenerated you know through our loins and uh it's just it's a it's a humbling feeling it's an humbling notion knowing that Yahweh by Shimei Awashai chose, uh, Lord willing, chose us, but has called us at least to do this service, you know? And so these are a handful of uh, precepts as uh, we're wrapping up camp. Uh, I'm sure, you know, Akim always have a couple of extra precepts that uh, didn't necessarily uh, flow in the spirit or maybe. Uh, because the spirit may have changed directions or or maybe because, uh, you know, uh, a brother was flowing in the spirit and Yahweh by Shemiah wish I had, you know, certain precepts come out that there were a handful that maybe you you uh, leave camp with. And so uh, I have a handful that I just want to cover uh, instead of them, uh, you know, not being in the spirit. Uh, I just said, well, let me just go ahead and. Um, you know, do a lesson based on these same precepts. And so, um, yeah, and the Lord will, it'll be edifying. So let's start off here in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. It says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds. And that's exactly what it is, man. You know, the weapons that we have are these scriptures, man. You know, scripture talks about how you know, these words, you know, are a double-edged sword, you know, sharper than a, a, a two-edged sword, you know, piercing even the sunder uh, of the hearts and the intents, you know, past the marrow and, and it's lucky for paraphrasing. But the point being here is that's our weapon, man, you know, and this weapon is, is breaking down and revealing, okay, this wicked society for what it really is, okay, full of abominations full of uh, of adultery, you know, idolatry, okay, lewdness, okay, lasciviousness, all of these things this society promotes, which are ungodly ways, man, okay, and so we as the prophets of Yahweh Shemi Yahushua are out here to do these things, okay, uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 41, it says, if I wet my glittering sword, and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and will reward them that hate me. And see, that's another thing that, that you see that's being broken down here in this society is that God is all love and that there's no vengeance, that there's no judgment, right? Well, Yahweh by Shimei Awashai is coming back to torch this place, man. Okay, with thermo thermonuclear ICBM missiles. That glittering sword, you know, you're going you're gonna to see 200 million of those detonating here on Babylon, a.k.a. America. Okay? And it, and it shows you right here. It says, I will render my vengeance 
to mine enemies. That's another stronghold that this society doesn't promote is that we have enemies, that the Lord has enemies. You know, this socialistic uh, society, this agnostic society that, that promotes Scientology, that promotes uh, uh, evolution, the Big Bang, all of those people hate Yahweh Bayashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? You can read that in Romans, the first chapter. Okay? But, but these are, like I said, just a couple precepts I wanted to bring out because it shows that these strongholds are being broken and the prophecies are being spoken. Okay? Because your uh, Christianity or religion isn't going to go into the judgment of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. We touched on that last night. You know, the day of the Lord. You know, coming as a thief in the night. Well, well, hold on. I thought he was coming back, you know, for peace. But scripture says, nah, he's not coming back for peace, but for a sword. Okay? So, so yeah, just more and more strongholds that are being broken. All right? This is uh, Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of Yahweh by Shemiah Hashah, see, that's the spirit. For the word of Yahweh by Shemiah Hashah is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. See, this is the reason why those that hate Yahweh by Shemiah Hashah that have built up these strongholds cannot uh, stop this weapon Okay, these words from piercing and, and, and revealing, okay, and, and cutting down this wicked society. Okay, this is the sharpest sword, truth. Okay, truth of Yahweh by Shemi Shai. You know, that's another stronghold, you know, this society uh, pushes, right? Well, this is my truth. You don't have a truth, man. Okay, all truth comes from Yahweh by Shemi Shai. All right. How is vain creature going to try to have a truth, man? You know, scripture says, why is earth and ashes proud, man? There's, there's not a more uh, uh, sinful or wicked thing, man. You know, this is Romans chapter 9 and let me scroll down here a little bit because um, I'm not exactly sure which precept I want to go in here. In Romans 9. Yeah, let's start here. Mm. I mean, because the whole chapter is just precept after precept. But yeah, let's start at 31. This is Romans 9 and 31. It says, but Israel, which follow. Oh, that's the uh, precept I was thinking about. No, nah, it's in Romans 11. It's a lot. Yeah. So let's read verse 31. This is Romans 9 and 31. But Israel, which followed after the law of righteousness, hath not obtained, had not attained to the law of righteousness. Wherefore, because they sought it not by faith, but as it were by the works of the law. So two thirds of our people, you know, they still trying to, uh, and, and, and it's crazy because they say the law is done away with, but then they're still trying to, to live by the law. So which one is it? You know, and that's another uh, identifier as to, uh, you know, people that, that are not uh, living by faith, man. You know, because these laws are spiritual. OK, they're not carnal. That's the reason why we started out with Second uh, Corinthians, the 10th chapter. Okay, now let's continue. It says, wherefore, because they sought it not by faith, but as it were by the works of the law, for they stumbled at that stumbling stone. Okay, it was it was a stronghold to him. All right. They stumbled at it. You know, verse 33, as it is written, behold, I lay in Sion a stumbling stone and a rock of offense. And whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. So, so that's what we're telling our people to believe on Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Okay? But because they don't, they stumble, you know, at us being the children of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. They stumble at prophecies. They they stumble at, at, at being delivered by, by 
uh, uh, chariots of Yahweh by Shimei Hashai. They stumble at, 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 at ruling, you know, uh, uh, being joint heirs with Yahweh by Shimei Hashai and the everlasting kingdom of righteousness. They stumble at those things. They stumble at the fact that Esau, the so-called white man, and all the rest of these other heathen nations are going to be uh, uh, destroyed, man, you know, and put in chains. They stumble at those things, but that's why this word is only for the righteous, man. You know, th those that have eyes to see and ears to hear. Okay? Because that, that's why the Lord didn't give it to all people. Okay? He gave it to a few. And matter of fact, let's grab that in. Uh, matter of fact, I'll just slide over here. Because this is a precept one of the elders have pull, uh, uh, called for uh, through the Spirit. So let me just bring it out. This is uh, uh, from last night. Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 1. It says, and he answered me saying, the most high made this world for many, but the world to come for few. See, that goes to show you that there, there's not going to be an end of the world. Okay. There's, there's going to be a continuation of the world. Okay. It's going to be a uh, refresh uh, for that word new. Okay. Kainos. All right. So the point being here is the world that, that's made right now is for many, but the world to come for few. That being the hopefully late. Okay. Uh, Yep, let's read verse 2. I will tell thee a similitude, Ezra, as when thou ask the earth, it shall say unto thee that it giveth much mold whereof earthen vessels are made, but little dust that gold cometh of. Even so is the course of this present world. Verse 3. There be many created, but few shall be saved. Okay? So, yeah, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, man. Okay? Y'all by Shemiel Shah is not coming back to save everybody. Okay? And, and, and why would he? Okay? Like, like that was one of the, the initial questions I had even coming uh, uh, before the truth. It was like, hold on, hold on. The Lord just going to save everybody? Like, the same people that, 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 that killed him and, you know, the, 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 the P-E-D-O files? Them cats, too? You know? The bows and moles, come on, man. But see, that, that goes to show you how those are strongholds and how they don't want people to realize that they're not going to be saved, okay? As the, and that's why the scripture says in Revelation, the 22nd chapter, man, let the wicked be wicked still and let the filthy be fi filthy still, man. You know, why? For judgment, okay? For those missiles, all right? Because they're going to be... Uh, uh, so Yahweh Shemiel Shai can show his vengeance on his enemies. Okay? That's another word that's in the scriptures that, that people just glance over. Like, oh, well, we're just enemies. It's like, well, well, damn. You know? Kingdom after kingdom took down kingdom, you know, in ancient times. But then all of a sudden, at the, at the very end, everybody's just going, kumbaya. Man, shut up, bro. Shut up. Okay? Most of you people don't even need to be reading the scriptures, man. You need to be listening. You need to be taught. Okay. And, and the thing about it is that's humility. Okay. Giving honor and giving double honor to, to the men that actually have helped you to become free. You know, instead of uh, 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 mocking and scoffing and, and scorning and, and, and being proudful and boasting and being arrogant. Two thirds of our people are, are, are going to die by the sword, man. Okay. I'll read a couple more and I'm wrap up. <clears throat> Con. Yep, this is John 8 and 44. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. So, once again, you're, you're, you're not abiding in the truth, okay? Which is the only thing that will set you free, the truth of Yahweh by Shemiah Bashai, okay? You're doing the lust of, uh, of the damn devil, okay? Two-thirds that don't want to get right. Okay, that are carnal. And it says, and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. So you telling me y'all by Shimei is supposed to come back and say people that is that there's no truth in them. They only speak lies. Okay. Scripture says the wicked are estranged from the womb. As soon as they be born, they go forth speaking lies. Okay? So you telling me somebody that, that is a constant liar, a constant thief, a constant murderer, a constant uh 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 source and uh source uh 
uh, sword, uh, which, okay, and, and and speak sorcery, which is nothing but lies, that they're gonna be saved too, man. Stop, bro. Stop. It says, when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh it of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Okay? And Yahweh by Shemi is not the author of confusion. Okay? So there's not going to be people in the kingdom lying. Oh, yeah, we saved him, man. He's a liar, though. See? Ultimately, our people don't want a kingdom of righteousness, man. Ultimately, they, they, they've succumbed to this society of, of do with thy will. Okay? And that, and that society is crumbling, man. Okay? Babylon, a.k.a. America, man, is on its last leg. Okay? And, 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 and that's the chicken leg. Okay? So, um, I just wanted to cover a couple of those through the spirit. Matter of fact, let's see what we got here. Yep. Let's wrap up on this. This is 2 uh, Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8. It says, And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. He saw the so-called white man, the same one speaking lies, uh, promoting lies to two-thirds of our people. Okay? And they're... they're uh, uh, surpassing the deeds of the wicked, right? Promoting more uh, abominations, promoting more of these uh, strongholds that are here in this society, okay? That only the truth can actually break, okay? That's hey, that's what <laughs> that's that's why our people, that's why our people don't believe, man. You know, because all they see is darkness, all they see is lies, all they see is gloom and doom, okay? Where whereas we are the light of the world, man. You know, we telling our people, you know, for 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 the hopefully let, okay? This is not your rest. Okay? This ain't it. There's a world to come. And that world to come is for few. You know? But you got to go into that straight gate, man. You can't go into the broad way. You can't you can't do the same things everyone else does. That doesn't make you separate. That that doesn't make you sanctified. That doesn't make you holy. Okay? It says, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Because Yahweh Shema Rashad is coming back, as we had talked about, not with peace, but with a sword. Okay? It's going to be those thermonuclear ICBM missiles. Okay? These laser beams, spiritual power. You know? The prophets of the Lord right now are destroying uh, 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 these Babylonians as we speak. You know? B but through what? Through the word. The word is truth. Okay? It says... Verse 9, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan. So he's going to show you. All right, so 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 this is in the New Testament. Why, why isn't a uh, 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 religion going into these uh, uh, scriptures? Okay? It says, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan, which is Esau, the so-called white man, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness and them that perish because they received not the love of the truth. We just read uh, um, they abode not in the truth. Okay? They're not going to receive it. It's not in them. Okay? And they can't receive it. <laughs> so, absolutely, they must perish. They must be destroyed. They will be destroyed. Okay? That they might be saved. Boom. So Yahweh Shemi is, is not going to uh, allow okay, a two-third nor the rest of these other either nations to receive truth. Okay. They, they, hey, as scripture says, man, those that are unto the sword, unto the sword. You know, unto uh, those unto the famine, unto the famine. Okay. Those unto the death, unto death. So, so that's the point. Just wanted to cover a couple of those scriptures. Uh, Lord will, you know, it was edifying for the elect. Once again, call law like Yahweh by Shimei Shai, by Shimei Kahakwadash, double honors to the apostles and bishops and elders. Great millstone, rule and teach well. Peace and salutation to the elect. Shalom.